Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another beautiful day here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina. Today we're going to be having fun and we're going to be talking about a zero turn mower. The Swisher Big Mow Zero Turn Mower, we're going to be using it here on the farm today. The factory rep is actually coming out here. We're going to have a little bit of fun, talk about some of the features of it. I'm addicted to this thing. It's super duper awesome. I like a front mount mowing deck, a pretty cool system. We're going to give you a cool coupon code for this thing and we're going to play with it here on the farm today and have a little bit of fun mowing the yard. All right? Woo! I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life. Times like this. All right, so if you guys haven't noticed, this has been kind of sitting in the background in the videos for weeks and weeks and weeks. And this is a Swisher Zero Turn mower. This is called the Big Mow. It has a 31 horsepower air-cooled Kawasaki engine. It is a super duper fun mower to run. I ran it one time, like I said, I have the finished mow deck on it right now, but it has a rough cut deck. So it has a modular deck system, fairly similar to the Ventrac mower deck system in that it fits on the front and it mounts up fairly easy. So there's just two pins and a shaft and an electrical hookup and your deck is all hooked up. It's got an awesome seat on it. I'm going to take you around it real quick and just kind of do a head to toe with you. All right, so we'll start with the deck here. The discharge chute is a really, really heavy duty, thick little guard on there. I don't really like running a guard. I like to let it just blow out, but it's a little bit windy today. So we're going to leave the guard down just for the wind's sake. So I don't have to wear the grass. Now we have anti-scalping wheels all the way around. So one on each side and two in the middle right here and the deck is fully adjustable and it's electronically adjusted so in other words you have a foot pedal right here that brings your deck up or down and or you have a switch right here that brings your deck up or down and it's all actuated with a little winch system right here that has a belt and we'll show you a little bit more detail about that here in just a little bit got nice casters this thing has a three-year warranty for the homeowner a one-year warranty for commercial use it has dual fuel tanks which is something that's fairly unique to the swisher mower it has a four gallon fuel tank there and a four gallon fuel tank there and again this is a kawasaki 31 horsepower air-cooled engine some of the creature comforts again is an adjustable seat that's adjustable for your weight so you can see right here you got a dial and it's adjustable and you can see I've almost got it pegged out for a full on chubby guy. And we have a cup holder right here. The handles and the arms on the zero turn are a little bit different. They're a very soft, pliable rubber that's form fit to your hands. Very, very comfortable, very interesting. And it won't start unless this button is actuated. So these have to be disengaged in order for the mower to start up. Pretty simple little operator station right here. You've got a choke, you've got a DC power outlet in case you want to charge your phone and the throttle. So very, very simple. So you have a storage compartment right here. It's just a little tab right there you loosen up. And over on the other side, all the electronics and the battery and all that stuff is hidden away here nicely. Very, very neat, fun little package right here. We're gonna get busy on it. Now, you'll notice that we have LED headlights too. That's pretty cool a little setup right there. So the LED headlights light up so you can mow after dark. I'm a huge fan of mowing after dark. It's just kind of peaceful. It's like mowing in a tunnel. So without further ado, we're going to get to work on this thing and then we're going to come back and give you a little demo of a few things that we need to show you. We want to show you how thick the blades are compared to a standard mowing deck blade and we want to show you how this deck actually flips up for service. So you just disengage a little pin, pull the strap out, hook it to the deck and the whole front of the deck raises up so you can access your blades and you can service it easier and quicker than a standard zero turn. Contact! Swish your big bow. Wait a minute.
So guys, we're about three laps into this, and again, I've used this mower one time before. I had a blast using it, but it's just a little bit different than a standard zero turn. So a regular zero turn would have pretty similar handles on here, with the exception of the handles would go up higher. So in other words, you can move further, you've got more range of motion. With this, you only have to move it about this far, so it's really easy and ergonomic on your wrist and on your arms. You set your uh, arm rest here for the correct height so that all you're doing is sitting back in this seat your seat is ergonomically set up and all you're doing is moving your wrist so your entire drive here is only the flick of the wrist so it's pretty cool like that now if you need to bring your deck up and down there's a little button right here and there's a foot pedal here so you got to go over a rock you raise the deck up there's down there's up for going over rocks so we're going to set it down to the mowing height and we're going to take off and mow a little bit more. I got a very special cameraman back here behind us. We're going to introduce him too. Let's have some fun. Contact. Maybe. Clear break. There we go. Alright guys, special surprise. This is Scott Laramore with Swisher Mowers. We're going to let him talk to you just a minute and we're going to put him on the mower and we're going to put him to work mowing the yard. So Scott came out here because he was a huge fan of the channel. That's why he reached out to me and we partnered up with Swisher. So we'll let Scott talk to you real quick. Hello everyone. I am Scott Laramore. I'm the operations manager at Swisher Mower in Warrensburg, Missouri. Scott is an awesome guy. He's been my contact at Swisher. He contacted us and saw a video with me working with the Ventrac and I was able to access the deck by raising the deck up in the front and he called my bluff. He said, you said there are no zero turns like that. We've got a zero turn like that and we want to show it to you. So that's why the zero turns here because of the flip up deck in the front. And here at the end of the video, we'll show you how all that works, how the deck flips up and how you can access the blades. And we'll compare the John Deere zero turn blades with the blades on this. These blades are much more robust. All right guys, one of the things that makes this mower a little bit unique is the deck raising and lowering system. And basically it's designed with a winch underneath there with a strap that attaches right under here. And that strap is also used way back here for servicing the deck and we'll show you that in a second. Let's show you, yeah, right there is how it works. And we'll show you how the deck raises up in the air with just the lightest tap of the foot. Good deal. And back down. If foot power or pushing power is a problem, so you've got a small young lady that might be running this machine, well, she'll have no problem getting the deck up high enough to keep it from hitting rocks and stuff. So now we're gonna do a little bit of demonstration here, and we're gonna get Scott to help us out. We're gonna put the deck in maintenance mode real quick. So let's show you, walk you through how to put the deck in maintenance mode again. First off, install the two safety chains that come with the unit. Then you want to raise the foot pan up and secure it with the safety chain. Next we're going to raise the 
deck up and remove the deck height pin. Set this pin in a safe location and lower the deck to the ground. That takes the pressure off the strap. You pull the pin, slide this pin out of the way, and we're going to lengthen this out out to this location. Now the deck is safely in maintenance mode and you can sharpen your blades or do whatever else cleaning you need to do. So this is a little bit different than any other zero turn you've probably ever seen. It's different than the Ventrac. The Ventrac is all hydraulically controlled. This is controlled by that belt slash winch system. It's very procedural. In other words, you got to pull the first pin in order to pull the second pin in order to reinstall the third pin kind of thing. So definitely a procedure that we learned here by reading the directions like smart people do. <laughs> Good stuff. So now we can access the blades. I want to show you the difference in the blades on this machine and a standard lawnmower blade. So this is a standard lawnmower blade like you'd have on pretty much any lawn tractor like our John Deere Zero Turn or the Ventrac tractor and this is a high lift blade from the Ventrac tractor and this is the blade that goes on the swisher mower more of a brush cutting really strong blade and you're gonna have a lot more life out of a bigger blade like this and less likely to bend if you hit a rock which we do a lot <laughs> All right guys, that's the Swisher Big Mo. That's how it works. We're gonna be using it here on the farm. I'll give you a lot more feedback, a lot more thoughts. Be sure you check out the next video in the series because we're gonna be putting on the rough cut deck. Is that what you call it? Yes. And this is a 66 inch deck, three blades. The rough cut deck has little miniature like bush hog type blades. Right. And that is how many inches? 62? 51 inches. 51 inches. So we're gonna get in our old garden patch and we're gonna plow through that thing in the next video in the series here with the Swisher mower. It's going to be a good time. Scott, thank you so much for thank coming you. out here all the way from Warrensburg, Missouri. Awesome. Guys, we're also going to start an American manufacturing series here so you can see the Americans building this equipment that's made here in America. So be sure you subscribe to the channel, pound that like button, and we'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge. All right? Woo! 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 <laughs> good times, guys. Look at the yard. It's beautiful. We'll come on down. Don't read, bring your wife, bring your kids, we're living life here and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! It's much, much different. Hmm, much, much different. So you guys may have seen this out on the <laughs> director of operations yeah. for Swisher Mowers. No, that's wrong. Okay. Yeah, that's my boss's title. Well, we can make it. <laughs> we can make. We're making him the director of operations. Outtakes are going to be great for this one. <laughs> it's a whole. It's a world of difference. Come here. One more time. Go stretch out. <laughs> this thing is really. How do I say this? So come along today as we show you the new Swisher Big Mo mower and what Big Mo mower, Big Mo mower. I mo. I mo big. For about six weeks now, and it's been. Schmidt. How did I get that word in there? A Schmidt? <laughs> Why you wear sunglasses all the time? Because the sun's bright. Because the sun's bright. This is America, baby. Woo! There we go.